<laughs> welcome to the channel. So, um, over the past few weeks, as you know, we've been doing the we American in, yeah. um, taste of box, which we had from the lovely Cloud Vision guys, and that's now finished. And I thought, well, I kind of enjoyed it. I know you enjoyed it. So I went and ordered a wee snack surprise box. So it's, so it's is it from Snack Surprise? Is that their name? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It says, don't eat it all straight away. Well, no. Really? That's going to happen. <laughs> and it, I mean, it's well packaged. It says hello on the front there. Yeah. So it's delivering tasty snacks from around the world. So I don't know what box this is, where it's from, but we'll see. We'll see. So for those who are new, this is Gareth. Hi. My name is Ray. And we are the Rice and Tatties boys. If you, and it's, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the, the bell button so that you would get notifications of new videos from us. Yep. And like this video. And thumbs up. That would be great. And then share, share, share. Peace. Thank you. So you ready? Yes. So we're going to... Italy. Italy. Italia. Oh, it's an Italian word. So um, you can see that that's quite cool. And at the back, it has a crossword puzzle. It's a thing. So it has different facts about Italy. Just quite cool, yeah. And does it have facts about this and then stuff we have? Uh, yeah, I think yes. It does. So it, there's a mini box and original box. So I guess this is a this premium is a, box. This is an, um, I think this is the mini box. No, no, no. It's the original original box. box. So, so you get yeah. ten. Should be ten things. So there are three different. Yeah. So mini box, original box, and premium box. So the mini box has six uh, articles in there, and the original box. Plus contents of mini box, so there would be different stuff there. And, uh, and this has got juice and drink in it as well. Oh well. So as you can see, it's well packaged. Nothing seems broken or anything. So let's get tucked in. Right. So I guess it's some um, bauli e classici. Bauli. Looks Chocolato good. al uh, sedici, I don't know what percentage is in, in Thailand, mm. of cacao, 60% of cacao, yeah? So that looks like a croissant. Yeah, croissant with chocolate. And, okay. Then we get fat. So we should do this like maybe once a week. Once no, a once a month. month. Once a month. We'll do the once a month. I've ordered two different boxes just to try two different companies. Um, but up to now, I think this will be the one we're going with because this is the cheaper box and you get more for your money. I can't believe you eat all of this. So you can try it. <laughs> right, so it's a croissant with chocolate inside. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Next. Oh, it looks like nice, soft. Chocolate as well. Oh, it's quite yeah, it's, it's really, yeah, it's mm. really soft. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that's a nice chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Do you know what's missing? Mmm. <laughs> you should get coffee. That'd be a great drunk and coffee. Yeah. So, yeah, it's more of like a. Um, it's not a really soft croissant. It's not. It's, just not it's, it's more of like a, um, a brioche. Mm. Yeah, it's a brioche. Yeah, a brioche shaped like a croissant. Exactly. Like mm. With really delicious chocolate in it, actually. And Bowl is really an Italian brand. Is it? Oh, yes. Yeah. So yeah, that was quite nice. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed that one. What would you give that out of ten? Well, now I'm just okay. I'll give. It. Let's give it about an eight. Okay. The, the chocolate was delicious actually. Right, Costini Dorati. And you can see I can't really speak Italian. The only thing I can say in Italian is Vendio. Which is pretty nice. Costini Dorati. Golden Costini. So, yeah. Um, and I'm taking the chili. Yeah, totally. That reminds me of um, that um, that 
combo thing yeah. from the US. Mm. It's like a. Mm. That's a mm. bacon taste to it. Oh. Mm. It does oh. have a bacon taste, doesn't it? That's paprika. Simple and um, crunchy, that's what it's. Mean. That's actually. Semplici e croccanti. That's really nice. It's, like, it's just like a wee um, cook from it. has been nice in a salad. Mm. Yeah. It's in a salad. Yeah, let me keep that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have another one. What you can see. This little cup crystal. I'm getting another. If you have two. Oh, I had one. We'll check in the video. Mmm, so nice. Mm. I like that. As you said, that would be lovely on top of a salad. Mm. So, what does it actually? I think it probably says in here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about, yeah, I forgot about, about that, didn't I? So, oh, there you go. Crunchy bite sized pieces of Italian toast that are infused with zesty paprika flavor grate with a glass of wine. Marvelous. Mm. Mm. Out of 10? Out of 10, I would give that a. I would give that an eight. Solid eight. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Because it was delicious and crunchy and fresh. Yeah. It's really fresh, didn't it? So we're gonna go back to the bauli. Bauli is a, a buttery and flaky croissant filled with luscious chocolate flavored cream. So it's a chocolate flavored cream. Uh -huh. Try it with an espresso. Yeah, it's a coffee, didn't it? Could be yeah. coffee after this. <laughs> okay, what are you going for? Um this. Just got to say, cracker. cracker, yeah, but a uh, popped up one. Let me see it there. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that packs of punch. That's definitely bacon. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if it's bacon. I don't think it's bacon. It tastes like a really, really strong um, sour cream and onion type thing. So it's squarish, but. I don't know if it's here somewhere. I don't think it is. What's that? Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah. The crocantelle. It's called, um, we don't have the packaging. Maybe ketchup the, and maybe, bacon. Huh? Oh, ketchup, you don't like ketchup. Ketchup or, or bacon. So this is maybe the, I think that's the bacon. bacon. Yeah, so. And there's this both in there. Like you, you get a, Mm. Oh, that's yummy. That's so it's not really that one that I don't know if you can see it. But that taste, the taste is amazing. Mm. Isn't it? That's another thing you can put in the, in the salad. You can go quite a lot in the salad. Um, what, are you, what are you gonna give it? Um, that one. Eight. I'll, I'll give it an eight. I'm gonna give that a nine because it tastes like a really nice bacon. Mm. As if the that tossed it in some really good bacon fat, didn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Go for another something sweet then. Something sweet. So, um, Ringo. Where's Ringo here? It needs to be more organized. <laughs> there it is. Ringo. Perfectly sized round crisp biscuits with a smooth vanilla center. They are a great snack for both adults and kids. Oh, I'm a bit adult. That's a bit okay. It's vanilla, vanilla, so vaniglia, but you don't pronounce the the G, so it's vanilla. I don't know what. I don't think that's a Italian word for Suitable vanilla. Suitable for vegetarians. Anyway, that's as open. is all of this box. Suitable for vegetarians. Everything's got a V next to it. All right, cool. Even the bacon stuff. Let's get it. If you're a vegetarian and you want some bacon stuff, that, if, you're, if you're missing the taste of bacon, that would be great for that. Right. Oh, okay. so it's like a... Look, there. So, yeah. there's, it's an R, it's Ringo, and then an O at oh. the back. Cool. So it has also, like, it's like an Oreo, it has a yeah, filling it? inside. Uh -huh. So that's what it said, with a smooth vanilla center. Mm.
It's like a less chocolatey Oreo. And very light. The biscuit itself is really crumbly and light. Yeah. Yeah, totally agree. Mm. Whereas an Oreo is quite hard mm -mm. and really chocolatey. This is actually it's a it's a good balance mm. of the chocolate and cream there. Just because yeah. I yeah. think it's because of the biscuit there. Yeah. It's just a, it's a nice biscuit. biscuit. Mm. Nice and light. I can't think of the name of that biscuit that it reminds me of. But it's a nice like biscuit. Yeah, definitely like an Oreo, like an Italian Oreo, but with less less of the chocolate. Mm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm. I'm giving that a good eight out of ten. I would give that a nine. Mm. I just really did enjoy the taste. Mm. Amica Anello. A ring of corn which promises goodness. This snack is a tangy treat for all the pizza lovers out there. So I think it's pizza flavored. I guess. Oh yeah. Uh, gusto, gusto pizza. Mm. Does it smell like pizza? <laughs> yeah, it does. It, it can smell no, like the oregano <laughs> as well. Yeah. Wow. Like the one, remember the American one we tried and I said, oh, that really smell, the combo pizza one, that yeah. really did taste like pizza. Yeah. yeah, like this one. But, but this it, one smells like yeah. yeah, like there's a lot of oregano in, uh, yeah. in, in it. I actually like that. It has like that puff, um, you know, the, there's puffy what's it? food. It's like a what's it? Mm. It's like a pizza tasted what's it? Mm. Without the cheese, but yeah, with just the taste of the pizza. That's actually good. Mm. Wow. These are very good. The Italian snacks are obviously very tasty. They actually taste of what they're supposed to taste, mm. don't they? That's really good. Mmm. Mm. I got no, no. another one of that. Not nice. That really nice. So I'll, I'll give that another nine. I know I've got a funny feeling we're going to be marking this box very high because, mm. without due respect, it is really, really tasty. And I, yeah, I'll give that an easier nine actually because it does taste of pizza, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. So let's try. So we got small bits here. Let's try this one. Gelatine. No. Tea. No. Galatine. 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 Galatine is a milk flavored sweet. A unique, unusual taste. They are one of the most loved sweets in Italy. Oh, oh my gosh. Roberto. <laughs> oh, I wonder, yeah, Roberto. I wonder if Roberto knows how to be sweeties. I think he would. I think Claire's going to be like, Roberto, Roberto, you need to get oh, try those. Pops. You need to try those. <laughs> <laughs> but I think when they go to Italy, they, 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 would, they would. Yeah. But the, I mean, I think this was the. I'll, I'll put the price of this box in the bottom for you. I can't remember it directly, but I think. Oh. This was $13.99. Look, it's individually packaged like that. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Yeah, I think this one was $13.99 and you got a drink with this one as well. $13.99? Yeah. $13. $13. Oh, not $13. I'm not paying $13 for snacks. $13.99. Oh, that's which good. I thought, which I thought was fine. You would spend that one. That's good. So, it looks a bit like um, Nalka Seltzer. You know, where you plop in your drink after you've had a hangover. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah. No, it's just now. Just wiping there. I'm just gonna taste it with that. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. It tastes like milk. Oh, like it's a milk. Powdered it's a milk. A milk flavored sweet. It's I'm like a milk tasty tea. Mm. Yeah. I'm sipping it right now. Definitely could taste some milk. I'm gonna crunch it. Carnation cream. Condensed cream. Mm. It kinda goes chewy chewy. Yeah. Not chewy but yeah, but it, it compacts. It, yeah. Oh this is like my I'm my not sure about that. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Only, yeah. because, only because it's probably a very unusual sweetie for us to have in the UK because we never really had that kind of milky sweetie. I know you had them in the Philippines, mm. but I would 
I'm only going to give that a five, only because it doesn't sit well in my flavour. When I was a kid, we had Nido and it's a milk powder. It comes in a big tin can. Uh -huh. That's what we use for our milk. And then we just, I and used to eat it. So that reminds me of that. I would give that a seven. Just because it reminds me of that childhood. childhood. And so Galatine, it's, it's yeah. I would not go for it right now. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go buy it. I can't but it's it it's kind of. Yeah. This will last us a week, more than a week, because I think I'm the only one who's gonna You're eat it. Gonna be the only one. Unless I get desperate for some sweetness. Then I'll exactly. Eat it. So let's go something Ooh. different. Um, Maxi Shock Goleador. Ooh. So Goleador Maxi Double Gummy Candy covered with. Sour sugar with a fruit flavor. Ooh, it is loved by children, teens, and adults. Well, we'll then. Yep. I bet it's not as sour as the one we got from America. <laughs> that that was actually um, they were good. We, we still have them actually. We, we oh, the 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 warheads. warheads. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you go to Morrison's in the UK, you'll find warheads, and you'll also find. Really? They are, oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, they've got one in this one here. And they also this. have, um, what do you call it? What's the other one we like? The Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, Sour Patch Kids, yeah. yeah. So, so there's different, looks like there's different So flavors. it's like, um, oh, it's like two pieces. Oh, yeah. So it's orange and green. Well, I would say Coca Cola killer. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So I'll, ah, take, I'll taste the green I'll, one I'll, first. I'll, I'll wear Coke. It's Coke. Really hard, eh? It's not sour. It's not sour. That's not sour. The green one tastes like Coke, so I think it's a Coke thing. Mine tastes like Coke. Maybe it's supposed to be a, like a Coke bottle or something. Well, maybe. No, but it's, it was a tanker. Mm. I like that. It tastes like Coca Cola. The only thing I don't like about it is quite a hard gum. It's like there's tons and tons of gelatin in it. Oh, I like it. It's not going to stop me. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh no, it's got lime. Mmm, I can taste the lime. I can taste the lime. So it's like having a Coca-Cola Coca -Cola and lime. Oh, it's quite tough going in, isn't it? Mm. Mm. It's mm. nice though. It's hard. Mm. It's, it, I mean, it's dead, dead tasty. So, what would you give that out of ten? That one. Oh, we actually found another one. <laughs> so we're gonna keep that. Um, you know what? It was just just hard to eat. Uh, oh, this has some uh, orange one. Right. Um, we'll taste that later. But uh, I guess I'm gonna. I'll give that an eight. Yeah, it's good. It's it's a really tasty sweetie because it tastes like Coca Cola and lime, but. The amount of gelatin in it, I think it's quite it's quite tough going. Yeah. But it's tasty. So I would have given it a nine. I'd give it a seven. I would give, give it a nine if it wasn't that hard to eat. So a fancy one try one of this. The Gardena hazelnut. Now I love hazelnut stuff. So it's a light um crispy wafer with a tenderly melting hazelnut cream. Tenderly melting. Mm. And fine milk chocolate covering. Oh. Who's gonna get fat? <laughs> oh, it's, I like these trying new things because it's probably it prepares you for when you go on your holiday. Right, just show them first. So it's a block, a whole block like that, and then, inside. And then you can you can cut it like a Kit Kat. Yeah, it looks like you can see clean. some. Um, bridges there. Yeah, this one's not gonna cut though, so I've cut a piece of this one. Because it's gonna crumb everywhere. You just take one, two. See, it should be like that. And Mr. Harris. Oh, there we go. Oh, he wants you. So, anyway. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I have to give it to the um, the Italian friend mm. comes to the hazelnut. Oh, that's yummy. 
has one of the best mm. chocolate tea his um hazelnut or chocolate tea wafers I've had in a long time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? What about um Kit Kats? No. What you call them? You want me all the time. The circular ones, oh Ferrero Rocher. They're still, they're still in town. Mm, but this is not nicer than Ferrero Rocher, but it's on the same level. Yeah, this is more wafer. That one has just a one coating of wafer though. Mm. It's different. I would this say that's more of a chocolate, like chocolate bar kind of thing. That's a, a chocolate a Ferrero Rocher light. In a uh, more wafer mm. mode. So that's quite nice. That's delicious. You could use, you could finish snapple that in yeah. seconds, to be honest. Good. Then I hate on that. Uh -huh. um, I give it a nine. Absolutely. I'm going to give it a nine too, because it's yeah. yummy. They haven't given anything a ten, because no. we haven't been blown away. Well, do you know, when we when we did our first video, we, we did give a couple of tens. Looking back now, I think maybe we shouldn't have given quite a ten, because yeah. it wasn't quite a fantastic, but but we're gonna, yeah, we're more restrictive now. So if it's a 10, it's like, it blows our mind. Blows our mind, yes. That's what we're getting So I'm gonna go for this. What's it called? Chupa Chups. Chupa Chups. No, how do you pronounce Chupa it? Chupa Chups. Is it Chupa Chups? Chupa Chups, yeah. Here. So but it's choco. It's chocolate. The tastiest and most colorful white chocolate snack filled with sugared almonds. <gasps> oh, that's different. Yeah. Oh, I love sugar dumplings. Chopper chops. Um, Roberta's will go gas. Because it, um, chopper chops are usually like uh, lollipops. Oh wow! So it's a whole thing like that. All right. Mm. So it got cut though. So it's like that. But look at that. It's very what colorful. What a rainbowy goodness! It's a gay chocolate. It's a gay chocolate. No, I was about to give him the the, uh, the small one, but no. These are nice. That's not almond. Is it? It's chocolate. I don't know if you can see that. So it's sugar almond. So the the it's one that looks like um like Smarties. small and um, uh, smart. No, M &M's. they look like Smarties. Mm. Or it's smarties in this country. Yeah. But that's not almonds. It's not with sugared almonds. So we didn't get the, the almonds. Well, it's sugared almonds, though. Maybe it is. Mmm, chocolate. Definitely chocolate. I don't know. It's nice anyway. It tastes like a milky bar. Or well, the white white chocolate, you can can't go wrong with white chocolate and it's uber um, sweet but that's a nice white chocolate though mm, yeah 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 and it's not and you you said uber sweet but it's not like uber uber sweet it's not it's, yeah. it's nice chocolate that is i mean white chocolate is sweet yeah anyways oh. but i'll but give it a seven because of the disappointment and i was expecting my almonds six all right seven but it's nice and melts in your mouth. It covers your mouth, the chocolate. Right. So that one Pandistel. is... Pandestel. Stel? Pandestel. Stel. Pan... Pandestel. 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 So what does it mean? What does it mean? People. What does it mean? Pan, well, cake. No. Pan. Bread. Bread of Stella. Stella's bread. Stars. So it's actually here it says it's mooncake. Mm. So remember we had a mooncake from America, that wasn't very nice. No, it wasn't good. I think this one would be nice. But well, it says this is a real treat. Outside we have a soft sponge and inside a creamy cocoa and chocolate filling. Delicious. Delicious. This, this is delicious. Oh, it's tiny. It's really fancy pack though, isn't it? Yeah, look, I like it's got a little oh, tray. Cool. It has a, a plastic oh. tray. And look, that is so cute. 
Sa is better than the moon cave that we had yeah. in the States. And it's funny. Don't disrespect the moon cave, but. Yeah, have, but have that, a look. That looks like a cake. Yeah. You know, like the Jaffa cakes we have? Yeah. Here? Similar. Similar. So, you can cut this. So, okay. So, it is a, say, this is real cute. That's a that's soft that's sponge that's and inside a creamy coke. That cocoa looks like a chocolate Nutella. filling. Doesn't it? It looks oh like a Nutella filling. I think this will be way better than the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. I tasted that's it. Just I tasted it before biting into it. I guess not. And the chocolate there is nice. Mm. The sponge is really nice and light as well. It's like a really fresh sponge. I have to say, it's like that's a nice. Freshly baked sponge, isn't it? Wow. Pandistelle. Mm. Wow. Mm, and it is like a light Nutella. Mm. It's not as strong as Nutella, but it's, it's close. It's really gooey. Mm. Nice yummy. Wow. It completely coats your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know what's going on, but I give that easily a nine. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Last um, thingy is a Ferrero Duplo. <gasps> Ferrero. Duplo. So I think this is a Ferrero's um, answer to um, how to call that? Um, a chocolate bar. Kinder Bueno. Yeah, it looks like a Kinder. So but this is a three hole crunchy hazelnut in five, five hazelnut cream, crispy delicate wafer covered in delicious chocolate. Yeah, I think so. It's basically, that's a Ferrero Rocher in a bar format. In it. Yeah, so it's gonna be a, for, yeah, it's a Ferrero um, Kinder Bueno. It's a, it's a Kinder Bueno with a hazelnut in it, because the Kinder Bueno doesn't have a hazelnut in it, it's just cream. That's it. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm just gonna want to, to show you the whole thing. So, how many is that thing there? Mm -hmm. And at the bottom, it looks like boobies. Like so I'm just gonna crack that one. Nice. <laughs> the table's covered in crumbs. You ready? Yeah. Even my fingers. Even has hazelnut in it. Yeah, that's like a whole hazelnut. And there's a really roasted hazelnut, you can taste that. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this I'm, gonna, actually... I'm gonna say something terrible now. What? That's nearly better than a Fleur Rocher. No. For the crunchiness of that nut. Mm. That's mm. yummy. I'm sorry, but this is better than uh, Kinder Bueno. Mm. Oh yeah, it's more adult. <laughs> Although you can't beat a can go for it. You can't beat a Kinder Bueno. You really can. Mm. 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 That is nice. It's yummy, eh? Nine. Absolutely. That is a good box. And also, the toy is finish it off. Oh. So, to finish it off, a Pepsi twist. A refreshing alternative to traditional cola with a hint of lemon flavour. It was first introduced in the USA in the year 2000. So it's basically mm. I do like my Pepsi Max Cherry. It's my, my guilty pleasure. Pepsi. You actually taste the lemon in it. Personally, no. I do. So we had, I think the packet, the whole box and everything like that is really good. I think that's good value. It's a nice way of trying something different from a different country. Yeah, definitely. So it's so, um, the mini, the original box is a mini box and six more. Yeah. That's what, sorry. I, uh, no, no, it's okay. And then probably the... And then the um, premium boxes would be that plus... Plus all of that extras. All of these extras. <laughs> Wow. So, what was your favorite? favorite well, the Pepsi, your top, your the top Pepsi two. first. Pepsi. Oh, they haven't the Pepsi. No. 
Yeah, I, I would I would go for actually even four, five. I, I I'll give it a, a fast again. Five. Yeah, it's Pepsi with yeah, a lemon in it. Some people like lemon. But for your top two. Top two. Top two, top three over there. Top Tops. two. Um well I really like the uh um Gardena. The um the crostini. Dorato. These two. And what was the other one? That's top two. Yeah, for me it's these two. Yeah, these two. I would say these two. So the pandistella though is um, yeah. is a is a contender yeah. as well. Yeah, absolutely. But I have to put them my second. Okay. And your top one then. My top one was the one we just had. Oh the um oh. the duplo. The duplo. That's yummy. So, yeah. yeah, and overall I guess they're yeah, really good. Yeah, I would say. So that's good. the thing is they um, they not only have Italy, they have different countries. Oh yeah, so next the next box that will come, because it'll come automatically in one month time. And I think this is probably the box we'll go with. So every month they'll get one of these yeah. with a different country. I think they do tend to stick quite heavily to Europe, but I have seen that they do Japanese and other places I really want to try Japanese. Japanese, yeah. So you've got this far in the video, so why don't you subscribe? If you haven't already, ring that bell so that you can get notification of when we post. And new like stuff this video. Like the video. What else? Share, share, share. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this taste of Italy. We certainly have. Yeah. I've def definitely tasted that. The really good, strong flavors. Eh? That is good. Um, and natural. Like overall, they they were they've been good. Mm. Natural flavors, absolutely. So and that. Yeah. That's it. Okay, Muzz. Until next time, don't forget to live your fullest life. Always. Bye. Bye.